spring in Moscow, but for Russians finally enjoying the sunshine, there's still a chill in the air. The fear their government may soon call them up to fight in Ukraine. Yes. No, I'm very afraid. I obviously don't want it to happen. If you're interested in whether I personally would like to go, no. Let's just say I'm in the reserve, so I probably would go. As a law-abiding citizen, I wouldn't have a choice, right? So it's not my choice. As Russians prepare for Monday's Victory Day, their government denies general mobilisation is about to be announced. But human rights groups have told us reservists are already being contacted by authorities in what could be the first stage in a national call-up. We're getting calls on the hotline lately starting from April with people saying that reservists are being called into recruitment offices, their registration details are being checked, their address, their marital status, their health. And whatever the Kremlin says, reservists have confirmed to Sky News they have been called into recruitment offices. We understand that uh, recruitment offices have been talking to reservists across Russia about the possibility of being mobilised. Can, can you rule out we put the claims to the foreign ministry. These statements have already been denied by the Russian officials, so let's proceed from that. A straight answer was given, there's nothing I can add. But then Vladimir Putin's claim conscripts and reservists haven't been fighting in Ukraine, when we know they have. Let me point out that conscripts have not and will not take place in military action, and reservists will not be called up. Only professional military men are resolving the problem. And the Kremlin insisted Ukraine would not be attacked when it has. Claims it won't use Victory Day to expand its campaign there may not be all that reassuring. To Russians worried they could soon be called on to fight. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Moscow.